Mr. Morris? Hey, Elijah, good to see you. Hey, good to see you. And uh, Eli or Elijah, which do you like better? Uh, Eli's fine. Eli's fine? The reason I like Elijah Harris, man, we go back to Don Osborne. Go back to the Don Osborne camp, that kicking camp. Yeah. I know this guy's got to be a kicker one day. Coming out of that Don Osborne camp, with Will, remember little, you maybe not remember these guys, but I remember these guys. Will Johnson, little Will Johnson out of High Point Central. And you had uh, Tyler Hunt out of Eastern Guilford. All those guys used to go work with Mr. Osborne on Sundays. Yeah. You did a lot of work with Mr. Osborne back in the day. That's right. You still train with him any now at all? You guys still hook up? Uh, no, I ain't talked to him in a minute. Yeah, I hadn't seen him in a while, though. but that was a good experience. Learned a lot probably from him. Yeah. Is the kicking thing still a big thing for you? Uh, yeah, it is. I'd say so. Still do the kickoffs? Yes, sir. Still well, do the... Uh... As right now, I haven't been doing it because I messed up my knee, but I should be doing it between this week and next week. Coming back with it soon, then, yeah. on the kickoffs. How about the punts? Still doing the punts? Yes, sir. And the extra points? Yes, sir. Are you guys still kicking the extra points? That's always a question. Yeah, we are. I know how the strategy is where it's usually start the game kicking us. If you're successful, we're going to stick with the extra points. All right. You've got to prove to the coach we're going to make these extra points this week. It's yes, always sir. been a challenge. I know that from over the years. No doubt about that. Yes, sir. But you, man, you're kicking. I remember watching you. I just, I took one Friday night, maybe last year before. I just watched you warm up out there on the field because you were kicking toward the uh, field house. You're kicking yes, that way in the warm up. And man, you weren't exactly down the middle in the beginning. They're kind of bearing to the left. But man, the distance. You had the power. You got some power in those kicks. I still think you could kick in college. Oh, willing. Yeah, I tell you what, they got my man Will Johnson, Winston State. I think Will's a sophomore. He's doing the kickoffs and he's also doing the punting. They got another guy, I think his name is uh, Alejandro Suarez. Suarez is doing the field goals, extra points. Both those guys, older men, they really go to Winston State. Might get a chance to do some kicking over there one day. But linebacker is your chosen field these days, right? Yes, sir. Talk about what is it, what is it like being a linebacker. I mean, it's fun, you know. I play I play outside linebacker, so I kind of get the best of both worlds because I get to go out and cover it, but then I also get to bump back in the box, you know, read my read my guard and make plays. So you get to run to the ball all night long, right? Yes, sir. Do you guys keep those uh, defensive stats? Uh, no, I don't really pay too much attention to it, you know. I just like to play football. Yep, just let him play the game. And uh, was it fun playing with Chris Register and Tom Majak last year at that linebacking core? Yes, sir, it was. I mean, I kind of miss my boys, but hey. Next man up. Yep, next man up, and you're the man this year. You've yes, got to be the leader. What's it like to be one of the leaders of this team this year? Be one of the top men on this squad, this uh, linebacking core, be one of those leaders. What's that like? I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's fine. I mean, we're, we're like a family, so we look after one another. So if somebody's doing bad, then somebody will step up. So if you have a, make a mistake or something goes wrong somewhere, if you go over to the side there, somebody's going to come over and try to pick you up, lift you up, and you have to probably go hide anyway. They're, they're, they're not going to trash you if you have a bad play. All right, I mean, because it's always more football to be played. so Always something to do there. How about baseball? I mean, I want to get on that baseball, too. We got totally taught Eli, Elijah Harris on that long. How about third base, right? Yes, sir. How about that baseball team? We're looking pretty good with this coming spring? Yeah, we're looking pretty, we're looking pretty good. Heard you got a possibility for a new shortstop over there maybe this year. That Randy, oh, yeah, his that, name Randy. Randy Norris, yeah. Yes, sir. That could be a strong infield this year. Yes, sir. We're the Williamsons. Are they at second base? Uh, I think I – think, Cam Williamson is going to be in center and Chase going to be in at second. You got you, Chase in second base. So I know Cam has been out in center. Is Cam playing football this year? Uh, no, sir. He, he, he played last year, though, right? Yes, he was the running back last year, but he's not playing this year. Focus more, I guess, on baseball. Right. Gotcha. Roger Harris with us, Dudley Panthers. How about that baseball team, though? You think you guys got a chance to maybe go deep in the playoffs this coming year? Because this will be your senior season. I mean, I don't really know. I won't know until it happens, but hopefully. That's yeah, how about this guy Christian Coakley? He should be a big part of that deal, too, shouldn't he? Yes, sir. He's a left footer, I think. He's been, ever since he came, he's been a really good. Now, he can pitch a little bit, too, can he, Coakley? Yes, sir. The big, tall pitcher. I remember him from last year doing some good work for you guys. Again, Elijah Harris with us, the Dudley Panthers. And what one word probably best describes you as a football player. How do you describe Elijah Harris? Hungry. Hungry. Yes, that probably describes you too as a man watching those wings here. <laughs> <laughs> hungry at the same time. But hey, I, I think I wrote that word down somewhere in the two. Hungry. Now hush puppies. Check them. <laughs> Have one uh, Elijah. If you want to you want to try a hush puppy right now? I'm fine. Go hold for now. Okay, we got the, I'm gonna try one. What the heck? <laughs> but uh hungry football player, what word would probably best describe your season up to this point? I would say steady. Steady? Where do you get your football skills? From your grandfather, maybe? Your football skills? <laughs> uh, no, I get them from God. 
God good bless Lord bless you with some good skills. Yes, sir. How much your granddad, I think, one time over at Dudley? May have. I think I met that man one night. Good man. Big sports fan. I know that. Big fan of you, too. Yes, sir. Supports you a lot. Met your mom one time, too. I was thinking maybe she was from New York when I first met her one time. Maybe not. Yeah, she is. I thought she was. <laughs> I saw it one of the baseball games one time. I was telling your mom about all the Dudley sports. Elijah Harris coming up through the ranks. These are outstanding hush puppies, by the way. Had the green here. I came here for lunch. They went green. I had the uh, green beans, had the okra, and had the tall salad. Went all green today here at Shane's. Great food at Shane's Rib Shack. Other than yourself, who's the toughest player on this Dudley football team? Hmm. I would have to say Trey Meadows. Trey Meadows, the one with a defensive back. That's a compliment right there. Yes, sir. That's a tough man right there, too, Trey Meadows. Yes, sir. Now, if we were still here for last year's team, would you say a guy like maybe Chris Register or maybe uh, Albert McQueen or Tom Majak from last year's team, maybe toughest man? I have to say Albert. Albert. He was a, he was a man. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. A, that's an understatement there, too. Toughest or worst practice you've had so far this year? Has it been just one day? Said, so, man, that was a terrible day. I'd love to forget that and just go down the road and say that day never happened. Yeah, maybe one one or two, but we always, like Trey said, we got this word called pace. Mm -hmm. It's plays after critical errors, so all you got to do is look past it. Got to let you keep passing because you, you, you know what pace meant. I mean, he Trey said it, you said it. Plays after a critical era. So, Got to keep going. That's, uh, and again, that's Coach McMillan's work there. Right. Got to keep Coach McMillan a lot of credit. He's, a, I guess, a conditioning coach, training coach. Yes, sir. Kind of like a personal trainer for a lot of you guys. He's, he's got a good approach, too. He's very disciplined. Keeps you guys in line. Keeps you in order. Keeps you humble. Makes yeah. you be respectful, too. Who's your first football coach? You remember who the first coach you had was back in football, back in the old days, the beginning? Can't remember. Uh, Oh no. Middle school, recreation, when you first started, how long ago did you uh, begin your football days? Well, I started playing again back when I was in eighth grade and played for Kaiser Middle School. Oh, Kaiser, okay. Yeah. Man, that'd be interesting. Well, if you went back to Kaiser or not, it means you would have been playing for Grimsley tomorrow night instead of for Dudley. <laughs> right. Going back to Kaiser. Did you ever play, let's see, Kaiser. Remember that kid Curtis Martin over at Kaiser, new Curtis yes, Martin? He's, uh, I think he's with Grimsley now. Yeah, I think <laughs> he's in defensive backfield. What about that? Uh, uh, I just better go that wrong. How about uh, Danny Richmond, remember Richmond? Uh, Did no, very well. No. Elijah Harris with us, Dudley Panthers. Eli, as in Elijah Harris. Now you talked about God being uh, responsible for your abilities. I think your mom actually went to the Bible and brought your name. Elijah probably came from the Good Book. Uh, yes, That's sir. how you got that name. Favorite sport other than football? Let me guess. I'm going to guess. Tell me if I'm right. I'm trying to read your mind. I'd say baseball. <laughs> That's correct. Do you do any ba uh, basketball? No basketball? No, sir. Okay. Any wrestling? No. Okay. You look like you may be able to wrestle. A pretty tough kid. Pretty tough kid. The team you'd like to play for in college? Um, I would say ECU. ECU? Yes, sir. That's a good choice. Had a couple of kids a couple of weeks ago right in here with ECUs. That, that's a name that should be coming up more now, too, because they're performing so well. That's a yes, school people should start looking at a lot closer. Uh, a favorite professional or college football jersey you got hanging in the closet at home? You got a jersey in the closet at home, a professional college football team? Yeah, well, it's, it's actually the NFL and it's the Steelers. Steelers, yeah, Steelers, man, all the way. Team. How about Troy Palomalo? Yeah. You like him pretty well? Yes, sir. Well, if he was on offense, I'd have to yank that guy. I'd talk about his hair, no doubt about it. Uh, who do you think is the greatest athlete that ever lived? Hmm. I would have to say Kobe Bryant because of his worth it, worth work ethic. Got that out. Yeah. Work ethic, right? <laughs> the thing about it, Kobe Bryant has had a lot of people, uh, I guess, contradict him and kind of go against him over the years and question, maybe question his abilities. Mm -hmm. The thing about Kobe is he just keeps on playing. Right. He doesn't let it bother him. I got a new solution though for this greatest athlete ever lived. I don't want to throw use this one yet tonight. Let's use this one now. The greatest athlete ever lived. I'm saying now. I just thought of a good one. Muhammad Ali. Remember you went by that nickname, the greatest? <laughs> yeah. Throw him in there. That's a good possibility. My first choice would always be Jim Thorpe. I used to love that guy back years ago. He was like a great athlete. But Muhammad Ali would be a good one of the greatest ever lived. What are you going to be doing 10 years from now? Um, hopefully being, success, being successful in life, probably playing baseball, football, who knows. You still might be playing some baseball maybe 10 years now. Maybe playing that uh, college, beyond college, maybe that professional baseball. Yes, sir. You never know. Would you try to make it at third base or another position? Any idea about baseball if you try to go for a, a certain position if you try to go pro? Well, I would say third, but I've been recruited as an outfitter as well, so it's up in the air. It's all about that strong arm, right? Yes, sir. Let me give you a name from Dudley Baseball Past, and this, does this name ring a bell? 
now because this guy was the third baseman. And a lot of times he threw that ball to first base and they didn't know what was coming. They knew it was coming hard, but they weren't sure where it was going. Ray Crawford Jr. Yes, sir. Ray, and they moved him to outfield when he got to Winston-Salem State. I think they changed his spot. That's right. I think he was like unreal last year too with a bat. I think he like led the CIAA and uh, RBIs. Just had a great year, but a good uh, mentor for us. Again, Elijah with us. That is Elijah Harris, Dudley Panthers. Favorite Halloween candy? Hush uh, puppy or <laughs> wing maybe? What's your favorite Halloween candy? I have to say gum. I love gum. What's that again? Gum. Gum? Yeah. Just, uh, not gummy bears, but just gum. Just gum. Chew that stuff, right? Yes, sir. Like the spearmint, the peppermint, the, uh, you got a favorite? Mm, huh? Any type of gum. Any kind of bubble. Here's a good one. I'm a, we're doing throwback tonight. I'm going to throw back to school. Back when I was actually taught some school, and actually was a kid in school. Do they still punish you for chewing gum in school? No. They don't do that these days. So you chew <laughs> gum in school these days. Right. It used to be a, like a, a total. That's almost like you get locked up in jail if you get caught chewing gum. It's like they're going to throw the book at you. But I guess this day and time, the chewing gum's okay. Right. Don't want to put it up under the desk or on the table, though. No. Throw it on the ground or somewhere. You get, throw it in the garbage, not on the ground either. Kay Hagan and Tom Tillis, you seen those TV ads about the two people running for office, seeing that stuff there? Yes, sir. Who'd you uh, ask to come into the house first if they knocked on the door at the same time? They showed up both at the same time, Miss Hagan and Mr. Tillis. I have to go with Hagan. Hagan? Hagan's yes, coming in first. Here's some games for you. Paige at Smith tomorrow night. Who are you favoring that one? I have to go with Smith. Smith has been the choice so far. North Carolina at Virginia. I'll go with North Carolina. North Carolina, okay. Uh, Seattle Seahawks at the Panthers on Sunday. Big game down at Bank of America Stadium. Him coming back home. Panthers after getting ripped badly against the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers just tore them apart. I have to go with the Carolina Panthers. Panthers get back on track. Let me ask you this. You got any favorite Panther players? Uh, Cam Newton. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And his linebackers? Luke, Luke Keekley. Like Mr. Keekley? Yeah. Let me give you a guy who was there. He left. He was injured a lot of the time, but he left and then he's done pretty well at the Giants. That would be John Beeson. You remember John? Yes, sir. Okay, here's your question for your pass to the uh, Woods of Terror. I've asked these other questions. Your question is going to be this. We've asked who the top assistant coach was at Dudley in football. That was the Norris Best. We asked who the basketball coach was. That was Coach Seagraves, Brian Seagraves. We also asked uh, as well, oh, yeah, the quarterback that was at Dudley last year went on the college. Where did he go to college at? And that would be Emmanuel Mosley going to Tennessee. Here's your question. This may be a tough one. Think about this one long and hard. <laughs> who is the baseball coach at Dudley? <laughs> Larry Fair. You got it. Larry Fair. You don't want to say that last yeah. thing. That last thing sounds yeah. hard, but you want to say it too loud. Coach right. Larry Fair. Yeah. And there you go. And here's your meal as well. Take care of business. Elijah Harris, number 17, right? Got to yes, make sir. sure I get that number out there. Keep up the good work. Your granddad's a great man. Your mom's a great woman. Take good care of you and your family. Keep working hard and make some of yourself as you finish up the senior season. You guys have won 22 games in a row. Got to win that state championship. It'll be 30 straight games. As a man, a junior, senior yes, year, 30 straight wins. It'll be unreal. Go get it. Thank you.